someone executes that prince. This guy is the worst. A An enemy that's malicious and just shitty, we can go around that. But if it's a teammate, if it's an ally doing this stuff, nah, off to the gallows, throw him to the gulags. This guy sucks. Maybe there's going to be crazy redemption and amazing story writing. But right now, we have to suffer because of that. Let's begin today's reaction. She planned to get stripped naked? I mean, she did have the clothing and the ex really expensive jewelry on, right? So I'm going to assume that she knew that he was going to be a retard and that she was going to literally strip down almost naked to offer that guy the clothing with extra money. Like, it's just crazy how she had to do that because of that shitty prince. This fucking retard on the right don't even know what he did wrong. <laughs> yes! Yes, I think we could have! He was gonna take that offer! What do you mean? We had that shit in the bag! Why is she playing defense for this retard? Alright. I'm not buying that shit. I'm not buying that shit. My head cannon is Alicia is being too kind and humble and is trying to make sure that this fucking retard prince doesn't feel like he's antagonized and left out of the group because that caused like an even worse situation. But holy fuck, this sucks. You shouldn't have needed to do that though. Nope. I'm not accepting that bullshit. Nope. Fuck that prince. Nope. Nope. I hate this because even if it makes sense, he's getting bailed out. He's not learning any fucking lessons. What is the point of all this if he doesn't realize what he did wrong? We're gonna get even more shitty situations then. Right. Basically. What? What do you want? What? You fucking rage! I wanna I wanna just drop this show right now. That's how fucking you are a sheltered little fuck. Someone kill him. He is just, oh, it's, it's just like beyond retarded. And like, he thinks he's doing the right thing. He thinks he's the good guy. Self-righteous white knight cuck that has no understanding how, how this world functions. That has no understanding what he has done he still thinks that what he is doing is morally correct and therefore they need to listen to him. None of that shit will happen. You have such an idealistic, naive perspective on this world. Golden spoon fed into his fucking face. What a privileged, sheltered pussy life he's lived. That's just life. Like, that pride doesn't mean shit. You think lies and deception during negotiation is like the harbinger of all fucking evil? I get what he's trying to say. He's trying to be the most morally and ethically correct. But guess what? That's not the fucking world that you live in. And your morally correct pride will lead to the downfall of your people to get fucking slaughtered. And I swear to God, if there's any motherfucker that plays the devil's, like, uh, what's the word? The, uh, the devil's advocate. These people I hate even more than people like him. Motherfuckers that'll go out of the way to play defense for this guy just to have like a little bit of an argument. I will immediately ban your retard monkey ass. Someone assassinate him, please. I need someone to assassinate him! You should have been more harsh. Yeah, you know what? It's this fucking idiot's fault. You coddled this pussy ass kid. Should have fucking taught him how to be a man. Ugh. No, I will despise him. 
for on his behalf. I would. He's naive and stupid. Someone please kill him. Go away! Run away, little kid! Why are you crying? But we know he showed up for the one part we don't need him. He shouldn't be here. You know he's gonna fuck up. Uh, please, this... surely he can't fuck up harder. Oh God. What? We are, right? The secret is we are, but if we say we are, it's gonna look bad. Shakmak or whatever that guy, that guy don't care. He just wants to bribe in the money. But these dudes, I bet they're more loyal and more active, you know, caring about like other independent places going sovereign and trying to, you know, correct that. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I don't care about the Empire. <laughs> Our lives are on the line. He's already fucked up last time. He completely said, yep, we, we, we don't care. We, we, we literally, like, yes, we are seeking, I, like, sovereignty. Like, like, what are we going to say? Maybe he's going to have a redemption moment right now. Maybe he's been cooking. Hmm. That was a very good answer. That's a pretty damn good answer. Hmm. Did he just redeem himself with one line? I mean, we gotta give credit where it's due. He clutched? I don't know where he went off. Maybe he went running off and he realized his own mistakes and his pride. And he came up with the answer by himself. <laughs> give credit where it's due. That's the fastest 180 I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh, she went, he went to Alicia. To apologize or what? That's the night he ran away. Okay. He's even apologizing. Dude, where is this self-awareness coming from? Like, how the fuck? He was like the most dense dude last episode, even if we talked to him. That dude talks to him for one second during that rainy night, and now he just complete 180. Everything bad has just been like recognized and corrected. What? You're taking away the fun from me. Wait, the whole content is me yelling at you. Get back here. Huh. I can't hate on him anymore. <laughs> Moved by his desperation. You went partying? Meet other people? Learn how to talk? Yes. Cook? There it is! And then he used that on the negotiation table. Basically, everyone thought that he's just a naive fool who goes on to be too honest. Now, whatever he said becomes the truth, and then that becomes the clutch during the negotiation. Alicia Genius. Lisha is Lisha is too enlightened. She's like a fucking Buddha, bro. Like she takes no grudges, no nothing, bro. Oh my god, this this child has way more patience and wisdom than I could ever have, bro. I was popping off, just calling him a fucking monkey, like oh, just the things that I would have done. But that's why. I'm not in this show. That's why I would never be in a role like this. Yeah, he did help. At least she has no enemy. She wants Vinland Saga. Yeah, no more eyes. It's ours now. That's right. I'm not from Danmachi. You figured it out. Charlotte does not care about the development. He has. And it wasn't like an overnight like change. Throughout the span of one week, 
he was like slowly cooking in his head what to do, right? While spreading the lie that Vastmark is the one going for independence. So it's not like an overnight correct, but based on the way that the anime portrayed it, it felt like boom like that. We're back. Yo. I bet Kurano will make note of his son. Some changes have definitely happened. Damn. The news is spreading. Ours is clout. Yeah? And he clutched. ミーシアンのために協力したいと思い、交渉を見てどう感じた？自分にはまだ足りないことがたくさんあるって早々訓練。はい。ミーシアンの時期総督として学ばなければ。I hate him because I can't hate him anymore. Does that make sense? Like it is unreal how he just become like this perfect, humble person that's aware of his lacking. And there's nothing to poke at anymore, and that's what pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lord Renge, fucking, uh, it's he's incorrected. Damn. That's right. You're wonderful, Alicia. Oh, what's the next mission? War. Fights. Oh shit, we're about to invade. Or a commander. This is the battle that we saw in the opening, bro. The fights actually look really hype. Charlotte, it's time for you shine. Ours there though. Did he look a little? Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Look at ours and look at Charlotte. I think Charlotte realizes something. Charlotte ain't coming. Yup. The cliche balcony looking out the distance when a guy is like thinking about deep thoughts. No, ours needs to kill. He needs to shed blood. Father. I wonder if ours will actually kill a person. Or if he's just gonna be... Strategist. I'd love to see Alicia kill someone too. I don't know why I want these children to shed blood, but... I mean, you know Charlotte will be. You goddamn know Charlotte's gonna be killing like hundreds of people with her fire ship, man. But it doesn't feel like personal, right? I want ours to like kill someone with his own sword, right? It's like very personal and it's gonna be like a moment of like, I don't know, losing his innocence or something. <laughs> Two weeks time skip. <laughs> All right, we stay behind. It's been two weeks for us. <laughs> She's even better when she's drunk. Is that disrespectful to call him boy? Oh. I see. He's been fucking having a panic attack because ours hasn't returned for two weeks. He's just a very worriable guy, worrisome guy. He's like a mom. It says you who was just having a like a panic attack. Mirel, even if she is just day drinking, she truly is like the overall like leader amongst them all. Hey! Speak of the devil! Was Ritz always this funny? Let's go! War! War! Let's go! War! 
Party. Is that a sausage? What the fuck? I've never seen a sausage like a lollipop before. Look at how it's coiled around the candy. Oh, it actually looks really good. Lisha's, I guess, not coming with us, huh? Yeah. People love ours here. They're worried for ours. No, no, no. I don't think, though. I think Lisha has the wrong intention here, right? Because she thinks that the people are scared of, like, the war to happen and for their impending death or something. But the people here are worried for ours' safety, right? Because they love them so much. Exactly. Truly the people's champion, man. Their own people love him. Should, should unleash these motherfuckers then. Yeah? You worried? You worried for ours' safety? Enlist. Motherfucker. Go fight on the front lines for him then. <laughs> put, put your fucking... Put some action into your wards, you know? You, you can just give us some free groceries if you want to, but... That's right. Feed him to the fucking grinder in the front lines. Hmm? Father's grave, maybe? Yes, father's grave. Alright, it's time to have schizo delusions. Father, can you hear me? This time, I'm a man. That's right, father wouldn't let him go because he did not have the resolve last time to kill. Bald! I saw a bald guy. Charlotte without a hat. So rare. Charlotte actually wearing clothing is so weird. She can't show cleavage, you know? In front of the dead dad, I guess. Like, I swear this is the first time we've actually seen her wear clothing that covers up everything. I, I like, like... Well, back when she was an orphan, not really, right? But after that, she just been wearing like the just the craziest, scanty clothing I've ever fucking seen. But you know, for dead father, we gotta show some respect. Raven Sama, <laughs> Raven Sama, you're low key racist, even to your deathbed. You said some under some weird shit to me. <laughs> Dude, I remember season one. Did, 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 didn't their conversation, you know, like, <laughs> Ritz came in, right? And Raven Sama, I remember something like, Raven Sama was like, Ritz, you're a Malkajin. But despite that, you ain't so bad after all. <laughs> didn't he say something like that, bro? <laughs> did, didn't he also say something about the women, too? Was he a misogynist on top of being a racist? Did he say something like, <laughs> Listen, you're just an onna, but you're not so bad after all or something. I, <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, but... <laughs> that definitely did happen in season one, and I definitely remember laughing about that that time, too. Oh. Yeah, the battlefield is no place for an onna. <laughs> Yo, Father Raven low-key just wildin'. <laughs> okay. I hope no one untacks here, right? That's what Paradal is for. Like, Paradal is supposed to now... I mean, we won the negotiations, right? They, they should be, you know, support, supporting us if we, get, if we get under attack after we go off to, you know, invade, right? But, like, what if they don't follow through and the Empire has been bought off by someone else? No, it doesn't make sense, right? Why? Because Vastmarks, you know, they want independence or something. Well, that's the narrative, right? So there's no way the Empire would then go on and, you know, help them. Unless... They all lie to us, and they're they're keeping us, you know, in the shadows. Bye bye. No kiss. No kiss. Bald. Yo, look at that. Canada Army. <laughs> Lambert is two hundred. <laughs> I know we. I know we're a bunch of country bumpkins, but damn, two hundred.
Lamberg just the, the, the 200. Kanade has 4,000. Look at them boys suited up with actual full armor headgear, bro. We're so poor, we can't even afford the fucking face cards for the blue armored guys. Uh, these dudes, 350. This is Alicia's people, right? Con uh, these are the other dudes in the around uh, the round table. I remember, like important for the meeting. Kuran, say something cool. Oh. Let's go, invasion! I remember in any of that. There's too many places. Ours! This toddler did it! Woo! Is he coping? Look at the wind animation, bro. The cloud. To protect. Yeah, you see? You basically lie and compel them, bro. All you gotta do is be a smooth talker and make them convinced that we can win and they get delusioned in their own fucking high and, and then they're like, Whoa, let's go to war! Let's throw our lives away! Yeah, yeah peer pressure, let's go! Squad up! And that's today's episode, and I am shocked at the prince's development. Now, it's better this than him being an idiot and just like, for the rest of the season, fuck up. But I wanted to be more mad. I wasn't done being mad at him. But over a week, you know, Alicia basically told him to spread some lines because they believe him and he, it was all part of the plan. And he learned that he was just a naive, sheltered little fool. And he sees uh, beyond his little garden that he's been sheltered in and sees what it takes to be a real leader. So, all right, he's got the development immediately. Now, we're going to war. The opening has shown us so many crazy fight scenes, even Lord Kuran fighting, so I'm very hyped for this fight. Hopefully, the animations will be amazing. Of all the animes airing, I don't think this anime has, like, amazing, amazing god-tier animation, but it's definitely not the worst either. <sighs> Sorry. I think that they can definitely deliver on some hype moment, and they're really setting up the stage for this to pop off. And I hope Charlotte does some crazy fireball stuff and everyone's gonna be like, whoa, who's that gonna be? Some power fantasy moments like that. That's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.